Over the past several days, I modeled some pipe assets, and these are the thumbnails for the things that I did. I started out with a pipe clamp here, and then I did a T-junction, and then a cross-junction. And then I modeled a pipe lever and some kind of pipe valve. And I was asked uh, if I would put them together in some kind of industrial scene or how I would use them. And so I put together quickly a little scene uh, and just took some screenshots. And I'll, sh I'll show you where I use them and how I use them. All right. I'm calling this a planet refinery. Uh, I'm sort of assuming this is some kind of planet and... Uh, there's some equipment out here so um, I've used the pipe valve here I've used the clamp up here and I've also used it down here we'll, we'll see if uh, there's a better shot of that later on I've used the T-junction I've used the lever here the lever is also up there in a couple of different spots and I've used the cross junction and I've got some other props in here that I that I modeled so I'll show you the, the images. They're just screenshots um, with this matte cap on it uh, because I, I just like the look for this cartoony type thing. All right, so uh, the clamp is there. The valve is there. There's another clamp on here. There's another valve right there. I'm sort of thinking that this is like the moon or something like that and it's abandoned and we had all these cylinders just left behind um, Yeah. here's another view I just wanted to show the uh, the platform up here and uh, the ladder how you'd come through and uh, just the, the overall the overall scene from another perspective. I didn't do a lot of work on, on some of this. It's just a few hours of, of work to do it. There you can see another valve up there, or lever, I guess I called it, and the clamp there. Yeah, so there's the, there's the lever. And yeah, yeah, that's it. The platform again up there. And just another shot here. So I, you know, there's so much more that I, I could do and would like to do, including this levitating rock here. Um, you know, it is, it is a lot of fun coming up with a concept uh, for this. Um, maybe I'll do more, I don't know, but I have other things that I, I need to do as well. Um, so that's how I uh, could go about using those parts. Um, what I did is I just I just brought them all into an empty scene and then I, I had to scale them and rotate them to make them fit. A lot of these are, are instances so that my poly count didn't go, didn't go through the roof. Uh, same with these cylinders, they're all the same cylinder just uh, I think this was the original one and then I, I made a collection instance of it and called it gas cylinder or whatever brought them in and just rotated them around and pushed them into the ground and stuff like that and then this is just a, in powerpoints is one of the glow effects i just like that because it almost looks like a photograph like it you know one of those blurry photographs uh, from the moon uh, showing the part of the refinery stuff so obviously we could have a lot more stuff here and i was thinking of actually doing a a, a, a space helmet sort of embedded into the into the ground with a broken visor or something like that but anyhow that is my little um, video showing you how I could use the, the pipe assets um, one thing I would like to say is uh, by doing them all separately in separate videos uh, it made it much more difficult to get the scale of everything uh, and get everything to fit ideally what I should have done was started with a piece of pipe of a particular diameter and always made my my uh, extrusions and scales here for these parts that you know a particular numerical value same thing with the diameter of this and then when i went on and i built let's say this this lever here i should have had the exact same dimensions for it, it would have made it a lot easier and for everything but I, I wasn't sure I was going to put them all together. And I wasn't sure I was really teaching how to make some kind of modular setup either. I was just showing how you could model a lever and a valve and a T-junction and a cross-junction. And so I didn't think of that. Uh, but if you're starting out 
fresh and you want to make a scene with all these assets, it would be a good idea to start with a cylinder of uh, 18 vertices or 22 or something and, uh, and, and trying to be sort of more mathematically consistent and you wouldn't run into some of the troubles that I did. You just have to you know, rotate and click them together. Maybe I'll do that sometime. We'll see. But anyhow, I'm going to move on because I have lots more projects. So thanks for watching this. And I, I, I hope uh, the whole series was uh, helpful or interesting in some ways. And um, I hope you come on back. See you again soon.